What to know after only four wins and a controversial end to the losing season, Doug Peterson is no longer the Philadelphia Eagles head coach. The Eagles went 4-2-3-6-1 in five years under Peterson. His 42 wins are fifth most in franchise history. No win was bigger in Peterson's tenure than Super Bowl 52. Eagles owner Jeff Lurie is set to speak on Peterson's ouster. Watch his press conference live in the video embedded above starting at 4 p.m. less than three years after leading the Eagles to their first Super Bowl championship, Doug Peterson's Eagles coaching career is over, NBC Sports Philadelphia confirmed. NFL Network first reported the news. Owner Jeff Lurie fired Peterson Monday in the wake of a miserable 4-1-1-1 season. The Eagles have won four or fewer games three times since Jeff Lurie bought the team 1998, 2012 and 2020 and Lurie fired the head coach each time. Only three teams in the Eagles' 88-year history have lost more games. The Eagles posted a statement from Lurie on their Twitter account. Peterson is the first NFL coach in nearly half a century to be fired less than six years after winning a Super Bowl. Don McCafferty led the Colts to the Super Bowl V championship after the 1970 season but was fired five games into 1972 when he refused to bench 39-year-old Johnny Unitas in favor of Marty Domries. He's also the second Eagles coach in franchise history to be fired within a year of reaching the playoffs. Buddy Ryan was fired by Norman Brayman after the 1990 season despite taking the Eagles to the playoffs in 1988, 1989 and 1990. Lurie has hired four head coaches since buying the team from Norman Brayman in 1994. All four have won 10 games and reached the postseason by their second season. The Eagles went 4-2-3-6-1 in five years under Peterson, and his 42 wins are fifth most in franchise history, one fewer than Ryan. Only Andy Reid, 14 years, Greasy Neal, 10 years, and Dick Vermeil, 7 years, coached the Eagles longer than Peterson. This is the first time the Eagles have failed to win 10 games under the same head coach three years in a row since Marion Campbell was the head coach in the mid-1980s. Other than the Super Bowl season, the Eagles were 2-9, 3-3, 1. But in 2017, they went 13-3 and roared through the playoffs and then toppled the greatest coach and quarterback in NFL history, winning Super Bowl 52 against the Patriots 41-33 at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. It was the franchise's first championship since 1960. But it's been a steady decline since then. The Eagles won a playoff game in 2018 and reached the playoffs last year but after a 3-4-1 start this year lost six of their next seven games.